In this video, I'm going to look at the recrystallization process, which would be used to purify a solid. Typically, we would do this after an organic solid synthesis. So in this little conical flask here, I've made some aspirin. I'm going to purify it by recrystallization. And then once we've got the purified aspirin, we'll carry out some melting point tests or we could carry out some thin layer chromatography just to check purity. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the recrystallization process and explain each um, step as I go. So the first thing we need to do is establish which solvent we're going to use. So for this practical, I'm going to use ethanol because um, aspirin is soluble when ethanol is hot, but it's not soluble or it's not as soluble when the ethanol is cold. So you'll see why that's important or how that fits into the process as we go through it. So we need a solvent that your solid is soluble when hot, but not very soluble when cold. So for aspirin, ethanol is the solvent we're gonna use. So now we've chosen the solvent, we've got a small amount of ethanol in this conical flask. It's sitting on a hot plate. I'm not using any naked flames, ethanol's flammable. Um, so we're getting this as hot as we can so that we can dissolve the aspirin in the minimum amount of, of the hot solvent. I will explain why that's important um, later on in the video. Okay, so the ethanol is nice and hot now. So what I'm going to do is transfer a dropper at a time of ethanol into my aspirin and dissolve it. But remember, I don't want to add too much. Minimum amount of hot solvent. Okay, so the aspirin's all dissolved now, so I'm going to put it back on the hot plate, keep this nice and hot, while I explain the next stage, which is the filtration. So for the filtration stage, we use what's called reduced pressure filtration, or suction filtration, it's sometimes known as, and we use this apparatus here. So this is called Buckner apparatus. This is a Buckner flask, so it's, it's a very thick glass um, conical flask with this side arm on and we've got this um, Buckner funnel comes in two parts you can take the top of it off quite easily but you can see it's it's inside the conical flask there it's got a nice seal with this bung so this rubber tube in here goes to this water pump so basically the action of the water running through the water pump I'll turn the water on in a moment because it gets quite loud um, it reduces the pressure inside this flask here so you've got a pressure gradient, you've got high pressure obviously outside, low pressure in here and that forces the air down and obviously that's more efficient, it's a quicker way of filtering than regular filtering under gravity. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So there's the water pump on. If I put my hand on this, I can lift the, the um, flask up. You can see it's quite, um, quite a powerful suction there. Let's turn that off now. I'll do the next bit. Okay, so before I put the water back on, I'm going to put this small disc of filter paper inside the Buckner funnel. Now, sometimes you can stick the paper down with some of your solvent. Um, as soon as it gets wet, it'll stick to the, to the funnel. So I'll turn the water on, and I'm just going to grab my conical flask with my dissolved aspirin in, and I'm going to filter that now. Okay, so I'll just turn that off. So the purpose of that little stage, this is the hot filtration stage, remember. So we've got our dissolved aspirin, which is in here now. So this is the filtrate. Any soluble impurities are going to be in there as well. Any insoluble impurities will have been trapped by the filter paper. So the hot filtration is to separate out any insoluble impurities from the um, dissolved aspirin and the soluble impurities. So I'm just gonna transfer the filtrate to um, a boiling tube and I'll show you the next stage. Okay, so the filtrate's in here now. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cool this down by putting it in this beaker of iced water. So I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes to get the crystals back, to recrystallize the aspirin. 
So I'll just quickly explain why the minimum volume of hot solvent was used. So remember, we dissolved the aspirin initially in a minimum volume of hot solvent. So what we're, what we're trying to achieve there is what's called a saturated solution. So that's a solution that's holding its maximum amount of solute. And the good thing about creating a saturated solution is as soon as you start to cool it down, the crystals form more readily. So we'll just give that a few minutes to get really, really cold, and then I'll show you what's inside. And hopefully we'll have some crystals of aspirin. Right, it's had a couple of minutes. I'll just bring it out and show you what we've got so far. So you can definitely see we've got crystals of aspirin in there. Just gonna do a little trick that you can perform. Sometimes you don't get any crystals forming initially. So if you just get a glass rod and you um, sort of gently scratch the uh, sides of the boiling tube in this case. And what you're doing is you're just creating um, sort of microscopic surfaces to encourage the crystals to form. So if we didn't have any crystals in there, they would definitely start to form after doing this. Anyway, we have got some crystals, so I'm just showing you this uh, in case you do need to, to do it. Right, so I'll just put that back in the ice for another couple of minutes and then we'll um, do the next stage. Okay, so the next step is another filtration step. So if I just bring this into shot to explain what I've got here. So I've got another beaker of um, iced water. That's my original conical flask with ethanol in, but this is really cold now because it's been sitting in the ice water for a while. So before I filter, I'm going to um, get the stern rod out. So in case there's any of my aspirin on the stern rod, I'm just going to give this a rinse, but with cold ethanol because I don't want to dissolve the aspirin. So I'm just making sure that I leave as much aspirin in here as possible. Right, okay, so that's washed. I can take that out now. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter this, turn the water on, Okay, still got a bit of my aspirin in here, so I can use cold solvent to rinse this through. And the, the sort of beauty about doing this is I'm also washing my aspirin as I go. So cold solvent, remember, because we don't want to dissolve our solid. So obviously what we've done there is we've managed to separate out the, the recrystallized aspirin from the, I'll smooth this, from the soluble impurities. So just quickly explain why the soluble impurities stay in solution. So they're in here now. That's because they're not saturated. So there's only a tiny amount of the soluble impurities in all of that solvent. So when they cool down, they don't crystallize out. Okay, so I'll just let that run for a few minutes and then I'll show you what's inside the uh, Buckner funnel. Okay, so I'll just turn the water off now, just quickly show you what we've got inside. Hopefully you can see what's in there. I'll just do this, hopefully you can catch. We've got some nice shiny crystals there of aspirin. So the final thing we would do is uh, transfer this onto a watch glass and just let it dry overnight and then so the, the next day you would run some melting point tests, thin layer chromatography tests, just to check purity um, against the uh, data values. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and all those different stages make sense. All right, cheers, bye.